I'm Emily. And I'm Brianna. We are here today to tell you all about the Kearney County newspaper history. Did you know that my great-grandfather used to own the Lake in Independence? Really? That's so cool. Let's learn more about this. Let's look at our interview with Kathy McVeigh. Okay. When was the office first built? This building was built in 1920. Who founded the newspaper office? The Lincoln Independent was founded by a man by the name of M.B. Royer. Um, what year was the first newspaper released in Lincoln? Probably the first paper was 1879. The Independent was merged in 1937. Has the current newspaper always been the newspaper office? Yes, this has always been a newspaper. When did the newspaper start in Lincoln? That would probably go back to the 1879. Was there ever more than one Lincoln paper at one time? Yes. There was actually nine at one time. How many newspapers do you print each week? We print 1,400. What was the most interesting story to you? Probably would have been the flood. Um, how has printing and editing changed since you have arrived? I came and the, the line of type was going to the first computer. And since then we have went to three different computer systems. The first one was you just you didn't see what she was typing. It was just the first computer that came to the independent. You didn't. It was called a copy graphic. You developed the film to proofread. Uh, then the next computer was a little bitty screen about that big. That's all you've seen. And then we got to a little bigger. And now that's all we have here is basically three computers and a printer. Where do you print them? We print at the Garden State Telegram. Tuesday evenings because it's costly and so a small town's printed in a bigger place. Here are some printing and editing tools and computers that the Lincoln Independent used in the past. When newspapers were first being published, there was a really hard start for them because the government didn't want them around and the man that actually wrote the first newspaper in America got arrested. Um, soon people would start writing more and more newspapers, and the government just let it happen because they couldn't control them. And they would, people would write about worldwide news because they already knew what was happening in their small towns. And they didn't know about wars and everything, and that was a good thing to know back then. Newspapers were very important back then because they didn't have the technology that we do today where we can just turn on the TV and the news channel will tell us everything that's going on in the world. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.